Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to your middle of the day market update. Um, the situation right now is still very similar to this morning. Um, the, the, the market is still at a bit of a standstill. I mean, we did see uh, uh, two instances where quite a lot of volume entered the markets. So the first time was, I think, about uh, a half an hour ago and then also 45 minutes ago, we got quite a lot of volume entering the market. So you can see right now as well, if you look at the volume, um, that if I if I can click it, of course, um, there's a bit of an increase. The, the the Bitcoin volume at least is right now at 16 billion, nearing that 17 billion, uh, which means in general that it's still too low. So I still expect volatility. I still need to see some sort of a, a breakout for Bitcoin. Uh, so that's still the same range, right? So we either need a breakout above 69,700 and a real breakout, so not only a close above that, but also a confirmation that we can hold it afterwards. And vice versa for the level down here at 69,150. And I need to get that, that real bullish breakout uh, because there's also a lot of liquidity around, uh, around those levels for Bitcoin. So that's what you can still see right now. Uh, if, 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 you, if you look at Bitcoin right there, since we have been consolidating here in that range, um, there's a lot of liquidity building up around the price and that will be taken, uh, at least on one side. So therefore, we still need to wait for some confirmation. And that's also why we need some more confirmation when we actually see the price going one way, because that could just be a liquidity grab and that we j drop back down after that to grab the liquidity on the other side. Uh, which is a possibility with volume this low. But like I said, as you can see, volume uh, earlier this morning was still at around 48.5. And right now it's at like 50, 56, 55.5. So volume is slowly getting into the markets. Obviously this week when we talk about news, we have the CPI, we have the inflation rate, we have the uh, Federal Reserve press conference on a Wednesday. Oh, that's going to matter. That's going to be big news. That's going to make the market move. So maybe... Ahead of that, we already are seeing a little bit of a, a, a dry week. All right. So that means in general, more volatility and you need to watch out. Um, now, apart from that, there's not much major news we need to talk about, I, I suppose. Um, but um, but no, no, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I do want to talk about some cryptos that I think have potential uh, because overall we did see some good movers. If you look, for example, right now. Um, so just in summary, you know what to wait for for Bitcoin, all right? A breakout either above 69,750 or 69,150 with momentum. I would say if you look at the price right now, there's a very slight bullish momentum, perhaps you could call it. Um, you can see that, uh, that, that the CVD here is moving up slowly. So, so some positive buys are coming in. Um, but the price itself is still very, very neutral. So wait for the confirmation. But a coin like Injective Front is also a, a coin I've bought because it's, uh, well, it's, it's very manipulated, as you can see. Uh, but I thought it had potential. I still think that there's a possibility, but it's, uh, but, but it's, a, very, it's a very high risk coin. But if you look at the coin like Injective, now that looks a little bit more interesting. All right. It's, uh, it's historically, you can see also very, very volatile, but you can, you can see as well that we gained a lot of momentum in the last hour. Uh, so that's a crypto I think you need to watch. Now, what's necessary to do with this? I don't know. I would wait for a one uh, for, for a four hour time frame candle above 28.5, for example, uh, before entering a long position. If you uh, and, and apart from that, just in general, waiting for direction from Bitcoin does also not hurt. <laughs> um, Chili's was relatively bullish, but that really needs to break above 13.2 cents. Uh, so that's not really going anywhere. People are still very manipulated, but perhaps there's some potential there. And then PolyX, I actually do think if you look at that on the daily daily time frame, I think that has real potential. All right, you can see that since uh, on the daily time frame, since we hit this support here at the the first of May, we've been relatively bullish, and um, and if we get either a break above fifty cents or some sort of a daily close above forty eight and a half cents, I actually think that. I, I see no reason why that should continue to or why it should stop continuing going up. And then you have a coin like Rose, very volatile. So there's still some things going on there. Uh, Jasmine obviously is still quite volatile and there's still some potential there. Um, but that's, I think, it for now. All right. I would really wait for that confirmation. If you have that confirmation, you can kind of say a little bit more about the market. I think that's better. 
Um, but for now, I think that's what you need to know. All right. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.